B. Lysergic acid diethylamide. L. S. D. It was like 1961 when I first heard of LSD through my friend Ken Kesey. He was uh, part of an experiment that would get paid to take these various drugs that the government was trying out. Some were placebos, but there was one that was really good. Some people think it's when Kesey discovers LSD that the counterculture in California is born. Timothy Leary was telling students across the country to turn on, tune in, and drop out. Dr. Leary, what are you up to here? We teach the science and art of ecstasy. He became convinced that LSD had the potential to be a tool for humanity. Timothy Leary was the most dangerous man in America because the politicians do not want a country full of people that think for themselves. There's nothing uh, grown up or sophisticated in taking an LSD trip at all. They're just being complete fools. When you think about it, widespread use of LSD in the 60s or MDMA in the 90s. How did that happen? Chemists had to make it. That's how it happened. Owsley had the reputation. They used to call it Owsley's acid. And out of Southern California, it was the best acid you could buy. He got busted in 67, and I got busted with him. They came in on us at our lab with guns drawn, 12 of them. You know, it was insane. Police officers came with these black masks on. I just remember laying on the ground, and the guy's got a gun to my head, and I was actually tripping. You know, I was on LSD. The government was saying this was the largest LSD lab in history, and we're sitting in a cell future being extremely bleak. These are found stories of lives being happily lived and then torn apart that nobody knew about. If it takes another 50 years of fighting these knuckleheads over the right to consciousness, I'll bring it on.